it seems as if everybody's talking about AI agents. However, most people don't know what it is. So on this video, I want to show you guys what exactly is AI agent, give you some examples and how does it work in like most simplest form possible without any jargons. Let's start. So for most of you guys, you know what AI stands for. AI stands for what? Artificial intelligence. Now, this is where things get interesting because AI is pretty much raw data. Now, think of it this way, right? So let's say this robot has all of your health records. It has your data on what time you wake up, your blood pressure, everything, right? It has that information, right? It has the potential to tell you, hey, you know, you should exercise more. You should not, you know, intake salt, okay? It has that potential, but that's where it stops. Artificial intelligence has that data. It has the potential. However, it cannot do things for you, right? This is where things get interesting because AI agent takes that information and actually gets job done. Like you're thinking, what job done, right? Now, what job done? It could be in form of answering a question. So when you get, you know, you know when you get on chat GPT and when you ask for a question, it's answering. In some form, it is an AI agent, okay? It's not actually getting things done for you, but it does, you know, I think and it gives you some information, some logic now, or it could be an automation, okay? Or it could also be doing your to-do list. Now, let me give you an example. So let's say you go on Amazon or Walmart, right? You buy a product, you get the product, but you don't like it anymore. So you go back to their site, you type, I don't like it, I, don't, I, don't, I want a refund, okay? Do you really think there's a human being behind there giving you refunds? No, it's an AI agent. It, it checks your order history. Are you a serial refunder? No, okay? How much does a product cost, okay? X amount, okay? How much does it cost to send it back, okay? It does all of that stuff and tells you, hey, you can keep the product. It will also go and give you a refund. That is what an AI agent is in real life. Does that make sense? Now, next up, let me give you the one, two, and three of an AI agent. So number one, they understand your situation. They have the data, they have the rules, okay? They have a rule that they have to go through. Now, you can put limitation or you can give it more freedom. That's up to you. Now, next up, they make logical, hopefully, hopefully, right? They make logical decisions because they think, hey, this is right, this is wrong, this is what I should do, okay? And then they actually act. So. You know, in, 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 in the most simplest form, AI is data, AI agent is getting work done. So what information and getting things done. That's the basic difference between AI and AI agents. Now, next up, okay, how does it actually work? So, so pretty much let's pretend that, you know, you are five, okay? You're a five-year-old kid and your parents tell you, hey, we're gonna go for a night out, okay? Take care of the baby. Now, as a five-year-old kid, you don't know how to take care of a baby. But if you can read, you could, right? So maybe your parents give you a piece of paper and tell you, hey, this is the instruction, okay? Feed the baby at this time. If the baby cries, you know, I don't know, do something, feed it, okay? If the baby is happy, you know, uh, you know, cuddle it, do something, okay? They give you instructions step by step, right? And as a babysitter, you follow that instruction and you look after the kid. Now, this is simple and like, you get it, right? now. This is how AI agents work. So pretty much a developer, someone who is coding, right? They give data sets or prompts. They give information to AI agent. They tell it, okay, make sure you do this. Make sure you follow this. Okay, for example, okay, I might create an AI agent who is customer support specialist. Okay, it knows how to take care of customers. Imagine that. That's the basis now. After that, I'm gonna give it information about my products, my services, my company rules and regulations. So it knows how to act as a support assistant, right? It also has information about my company, right? Now, it combines it, right? And once it combines it, it can help a, a customer because it knows how, to, it knows what a support agent is supposed to do. It also knows about my product, right? So you see what it's getting at, right? So, and an AI agent will actually ex execute tasks. now. What do AI agents actually look like? Okay, so you're wondering, are they walking around? So there's two things, okay? So there is the interface and there is the back end workflow. So interface, 
workflow, two parts, okay? So interface is what you, we can see as human beings and can interact. So for example, if you pull your phone out and you know, as a user, you give some sort of input, okay? That input, input could be typing up a message or saying something, you know, hey Siri, do that, okay? Or it could be pressing a button. That's an input, okay, on an interface. You don't see any code, you don't see anything crazy, you know, it's just a device and you press button, you talk to it, okay? That's what's happening. Now, AI agent will actually respond back, okay? It will do things for you. That's the interface level. Now, there's a lot of things happening in the back end because, you know, whenever, you know, you type up something, uh, the, the, the AI agent is receiving a command. Now, it's called workflow. So workflow is like, you know, Think of it like, uh, you know, uh, a map, okay? A map that tells you, hey, this is right, this is wrong, this is how you should act, blah, blah, blah. That's what AI agent is actually following on the back end to make it super, super simple. Does that make sense? Now, next up. Now, so AI agent works in four process, okay? So number one is it gets information, input, right? You tell it, you ask for it, right? It processes it, so it goes through all the data set, all the database, okay? All the information it has, okay? It takes action, okay? And then here's another best part, it learns. The more you do it, the better it gets. So for example, if you let AI agent talk to customers for like, you know, 50 days, guess what? It has that data set to improve itself because think of it like this, okay? You're a baby, right? And then you have this instructions that you're following on how to take care of, a, of, of, your, of, your, of your sibling, right? And the more you do it, you better, better you get because the instruction has a, some sort of limitation, right? So instruction might say, hey, you know, if the baby is crying, you know, turn on Coco Melon or something like that, okay? But you realize the baby doesn't like Coco Melon, so you try different things, okay? And you realize that baby loves to get, you know, drink milk. So you learn that through the process, okay? Now, if I put a limitation saying, hey, don't feed uh, milk to the baby, that's me as a parent putting a restriction. Now, I wouldn't do that. Now, I might try, you know, feeding a baby water if that's not on the part of the restriction, right? Or I might say, hey, you know X, Y, and Z. So that's how pretty much AI agent process actually works. So what's the big picture here? So recently, 2025 job reports came out, okay? It said that we're going to lose about 70 million jobs to AI. However, we're also going to gain 120 million brand new jobs because of AI. So yes, AI is out there to take your job, but it's also going to create brand new jobs. Let me explain. So if your job consists of something like, you know, repetitive, okay, you're getting replaced, okay? However, if your job consists of something creative, you're not going anywhere, okay? If you're thinking, hey, I'm a programmer, what, what about me, okay? Here's the thing, okay? As a programmer, if you're a programmer, guess what? AI agent can help you become more productive, okay? It can help you brainstorm, it can solve your bugs for you. So you have time to become more creative, get more productive, okay? Now, if you're a small business owner, guess what, okay? Customer support, okay? Invoicing, okay? Taxes, all those things, repetitive tasks, can be done by using AI agents. So AI agent, it is the future in the next five to 10 years, everybody will be using it. So think of AI agents like your, you know, companion, okay? They are your companion. They will help you become more productive, more efficient, so that, that way you can focus on scaling, growth, or getting creative. So AI is there to help you. 